back to my channel guys so today as you can see i have this set up here because i'm gonna be showing you guys how i'm going to tone this 613 wig that i received from rpg here wigs so i wanted to really wear this straight out of the packaging without doing any form of customization to it so in these clips here i'm showing you where i did that but if you want to see the full video then click the link the first link in my description box to check out that detailed tutorial of installation of this wig so i did not pluck it any further it came pre-plucked so i did not do any further plucking i did not tone it i didn't do anything i just wore it straight out of the package as is from rpg you guys know i always go in and do some customization but i wanted to show you that you could definitely rock it you know without doing anything because it still looks good so it's all about preference so a lot of people were saying that you know you could tone it and whatever but i already had that plan so today's tutorial is about toning it and you know how i'm going to do so this wig is the pre-plucked body wave um number 613 lace wig um from rpg hair wigs and it is 18 inches long it's a wavy texture as you can see like a body wave and it's 130 um, percent in density it's a medium cap size that i got and um you guys know my discount codes are already 215 and pt10 the products that i'm gonna use to tone this week today my clairol professional pure white cream developer and this is the 20 volume one along with my wella um permanent liquid hair toner i also got this shimmer lights shampoo um blonde and silver here is what it says below this really helps with the whole toning process as well and just to restore moisture because you know when you tone when you tone the hair you know that it can contribute to drying it out so definitely replacing or restoring moisture is very important so i have this tresemme um moisture rich conditioner here to just make everything um way easier is basically just get the hair wet the hair is wet so now i have this little bowl i'm just going to pour the some of the developer and then i have this brush to apply everything it's an applicator brush just mixing this around just going to move on to just applying it carefully to the hair I'm gonna try to work quickly with this I'm done with applying all of the toner to the hair so I'm just kind of working it in okay, so what we have now is just this um, water hair this is where the shimmer lights shampoo comes in so i'm literally i don't want to apply it directly to the wig so i'm just going to you know put some of this in here and then stir it around because i want to further even out the toning process but i don't want the hair to get like purple i don't mind if it's a bit silvery i really don't mind um so this is how the hair is looking but i want to even i want to even it out so i'm just gonna you know you see that it can easily get purple so i just want to i just want to really even out everything i really don't want to keep it in there very long i washed out the toner before i moved on to this process um this step by the way I feel like it looks pretty good like that definitely helped to cancel out any yellow spots that I might have had so I'm really just rubbing it up to ensure that everything really works in I'm going to go ahead and wash this out with some of the conditioner I showed you guys earlier this is how it's looking and as I said it has a silk 
very look to it which i really don't mind now if you don't want it to have the silvery look to it at all i'd recommend that you get like a clarifying shampoo which completely just strip that look you know that would really help and just let it be flat but i don't mind this and the way it came out kind of you know this is how the front is looking i'm going to go in because i did not um do any additional plucking so i'm gonna go in on the front here and pluck some more of the hair to just my liking i mean it is good how it is but i really just want to pluck it some more so i'm just gonna go in and customize that a bit is how it's looking now looks really luscious it's really soft lace looks very realistic so and you guys know that i live for a very realistic looking um wig and eventually i might go in and darken the roots but what i'm going to do before i move on to styling it is i'm going to apply some foundation or along with my powder the face powder to the lace i went in on the lace with just some um some powder to just make the scalp portion and by the way this came bleached so you can definitely go in and tint the lace further to your liking but i'm not doing that today i'm just applying some powder to the lace especially with you know skin tone like mine this is this is how it's looking so this will definitely blend in with my skin better as opposed to if i was supposed to leave it with the white it probably would give off a cast so i'm gonna proceed to just warning it and i applied the wig i have this scarf i did my makeup and i do have a detailed tutorial with this gorgeous look so listen it is melted i am in love listen i wasn't going to go nowhere it's sunday i wasn't going to go out or anything but with how i am feeling I love it I've never done this before my I've always rocked dark roots I've always been scared to do this type of look you know like color from almost the roots as you can see I use the foundation and powder but you could use color but I didn't have the time to do that so this was way more convenient I'm just gonna pull down the pins this is so gorgeous guys this is so gorgeous and I want to kind of get the waves a bit loose like they don't have to be super tight or anything this is so gorgeous i'm just gonna you know kind of pull it down comment down below and let me know what you think about this wig guys about this color i loved it in the previous state and i love it now in this color it's it's definitely a 10 in my book definitely a 10 rpg here you did it again you did it again definitely summer vibes you see when it come out to summertime i feel like it's the perfect time to just rock different colors and have fun it's giving me storm from x-men vibe this is why i told you i i really did not mind it coming out silver it look like a different person i'm not gonna lie this is a complete transformation i mean the contact lens yeah definitely storm 
from X Men vibes. This is it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I'm literally just brushing out everything as I go along, brushing out the waves, brushing it out, brushing it out. I'm just so in love. I'm very much in love, guys. If you are interested in this wig, the link is definitely down below in the description box. You can go ahead and check it out. You can go ahead and get your dollars off when you use my discount code SU15 and Petite 10. Like, who likes to experiment with different colors? Like, I'm not always that person. Sometimes I stay in my comfort zone very long. Like, you know, long I was supposed to try a color like this and I was just always afraid. It's gorgeous. At least to me, that's my opinion. I'm wearing it. And you see how this lace is melted, yeah man? Just check out that detail installation tutorial down below. I didn't want to, you know, cram everything in one video and make it longer than it already is. So yeah man, check out that video. If you like the way this turned out, if you're loving it, um, if you like the wig, go ahead and give this video a big thumb up. Um, I really, really appreciate all the love, all the support. Guys, we are on our way to half a million subscribers. It means so much to me. It really does. Like, I genuinely appreciate each and every one of my genuine, you know, divinity. It really, 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 it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be going home. Yeah, you need to tune into my vlog channel, Petit 2 TV, to keep up with me and what I do on a daily. Um, but yeah. That's it for today. I won't keep you guys any longer. And I'll see you guys for this makeup tutorial on Wednesday. So until then, 